So the Salesforce Spring 18 release is finally here, and with that comes the ability to add a path to not only the opportunity object, but other objects as well, such as cases, campaigns, and accounts. I'm going to show you how to add a path to a case object. And first off, we need to go to Path in Setup, and you can search for Path and select Path Settings to bring up this screen. If you've not enabled paths before, just click Enable in order to enable paths in your own organization. And then I'm going to click New Path. And so previously this was known as the Cells Path and was only available really on the Opportunity object. But now if you choose an object, you see more than just Opportunity. You have other objects such as custom objects that I've created in my own organization. And then as well to highlight some of the standard objects that a path is available on now is account. That would be useful for configuring account-based marketing, for example, for tracking the life cycle of a relationship that you have with an account as it progresses through the different phases of life in a business. And then as well, the case object is one that I want to show you. So we've selected case as the object. The idea behind these paths is that you can have a different path for each record type on an object and have these designations based on pick list values. And so for example, on the case object, there's four different pick lists in my own Salesforce instance that I could choose from, such as potential liability, product, SLA violation, or status. Now status is a pick list field that should be available in your org as well. And as well for case record type, I've enabled a lot of different record types in this particular Salesforce instance that I'm working in. This is the actual org that I recorded my Service Cloud Consultant certification course in, and part of that course entailed creating a lot of different record types for the different interaction channels as you're dealing with case management. And so we have these record types for social, mobile, chat, web, and more. And so I'm going to select social for this particular record type for the case record type of social. And then the pick list will be status. And then I'm going to give this a path name of social case. And then when I tab out of that field, it fills in the API reference name with the underscore as well. So the idea here is I'm going to extend the path functionality on the case object for cases that have a record type of social. Now path is something that provides guidance for success here on the right and then key fields to be filled in. And so here at the top and the way that this works is the second step or the step two in the path setup is the fields and text where we select the fields and provide guidance for each step in the path. And so at the top we have the different pick list values that are available in the status field that I previously selected. And here in this instance we have new, working, escalated, and closed. And so if a case with a social record type has a status of new, then we need to select which fields we want to have be highlighted as the key fields in the path. So for a new case, for example, some of the fields that we need to really highlight would be the account name. And then let's say for social as well, one of our key goals that we want to try to accomplish is capturing their email address. And so we're going to include contact email and contact name as well. And then we will do, let's say we want to be able to assign a priority as well. So I'm going to select that on the right. You can do up to five fields in the key fields in a path. I'm going to click Save. And so now this is just for our new status. And then on the right of the path, we're going to have our guidance for success. And so I'm going to type some notes here on the right. And so now I'm going to click Next. Now this path is inactive right now. I can set this to active in order for this to display, but before I do that, I want to go back and set a few of the other status designations. And so we've set up the primary fields and the keys for or guidance for success for the new status. Now when we're working a case, we could add additional fields, and these would be different fields that we need to focus on when we're working the case as opposed to it being a new case. And so we're going to add our update fields here. And so for a case with a status of working, we may want to highlight and have the agents try and get the case reason and as well note the case source if they don't already have that. And these may be things that they need to enter in or reference. And then as well, we could say, let's specify an entitlement name and click save. And then I'm going to provide the guidance for success on the right by typing some text. And this is just visual representation to present to the support agent 
to help them to know how to work this case with the status of working. And this is all configurable as well. And so for escalated, I want to add fields related to an escalated case. And we want to have the escalated field in here. And then as well, if we're dealing with entitlements, for example, we might want to do milestone status. And then as well, if there's any SLA violations, we'll note those as well and click save. And finally, for closed, uh, we're not going to worry about any fields or guidance for success here. So if we go back to escalated, uh, we could provide guidance for success. So now when you're all done setting up your path, you can set this to active. So now we have an active path on the case object. There's our Spring 18 logo. And this is our first path that we have listed. And then as well, you can check this Remember Users Path Preference, and this will cause the path to be displayed by default, and they can expand or collapse it. Or you could uncheck this, and then that way someone has to click the down arrow to expand the path. And so now if we go to a, a case with a record type of social, I'll show you what this looks like in action. And so if we go to, and this works inside or outside of the console, so let's look at the service console app for lighting experience. And so now if we pull up a case, let me create a new case. I'm going to select social for the record type. That's the one that we associated with our path. And then I'm going to click save to see what required fields I'm missing. We'll do the case origin of phone, or actually it's social. So let's say social is our case origin product that this is related to. I'm going to select one of those pick list values and then the type. We're just going to say mechanical. The main thing here is not to get caught up in the specifics, but just look at this path and how it works. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to add the path to our page layout and lighting experience. So to do that, we go into the app builder by clicking edit page from the page that we want to edit. And then you see the lighting components here on the left, and we've got a path component that we can click and drag over here into the body. So I'm gonna move this up here. And you notice here's a display of a preview of our path now with the different status designations of new, working, escalated, and closed. Our format is linear. By default, we could do nonlinear, and the uh, update displays accordingly, but I'm going to select linear. And then you could also hide the path update button. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as is. And so now I'm going to click Save. Let me go back. And now we see our path on the case object. We've got our new status designation, and I could change this to working or escalator or close by clicking one of these chevrons here. But the thing to note here in the new status, we've got our key fields on the left, account name, contact email, contact name and priority, and then our guidance for success that I entered. Then as we progress through the life cycle of this case as we're working, if we go to working, we can mark this as the current status, and that actually updates the status of the case to working. Then we have our different key fields that I specified, as well the guidance for success there. And then once you make that change, this toast message, that's what they call this in Lightning Experiences, that's a toast that display saying that the status has been updated and then if we want to escalate this we could select escalated here's our key fields here i'm going to mark that as the current status and then and then finally closed i didn't have any key fields for um, the path on a case object now, as i mentioned path is available now on the case object all custom objects as well as campaigns accounts and other objects as well that comes in the Spring 18 release of Salesforce, which just hit a few days ago. So I wanted to let you know about this new feature that further extends not only the service cloud for cases, but also the sales cloud for accounts, campaigns, and more.